Hey, hey, are you in the mood to hear a wild story? How about a story about sex, alcohol, lies, deceit, murder, maybe even a little sex change? Well, you're tuned in, because this is a story for you. Buckle up, baby, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Welcome to the story time with Auntie Cuckoo. I've got another murder story for you guys. I apologize. Guys, it's been a week or two since I logged in. I had a lot of craziness going on, but I got a story for you guys tonight. So, I'm going to tell you guys a story about Nicole Von Lee Titlow. Now, Nicole Von Lee Titlow is 33 years old and lives in Tennessee. Now, she has always been the type of girl that's always out looking for, I don't know, what do you say, maybe a... What do you call it? A daddy fun bucks? A sugar daddy? Whatever you want to call it. She's always out looking for her next big ticket, big deal. But there's a problem with Nicole. Each relationship she has, she can only go so far. Because she doesn't feel like a complete woman. She doesn't feel like a complete woman because she isn't one. Nicole Von Lee Titlow was actually born Henry Von Lee Titlow, um, born a little boy who lived in Tennessee. And from a very, very young age, Henry knew that something just didn't feel right. He knew very, very young on that he literally felt like a woman trapped in, or a little girl trapped in a little boy's body. <clears throat> now, I love everybody in the world, so do bear with me if I do not use the correct pronouns or whatever. As I say, he or she, I don't mean any disrespect. To me, humans are, everybody's everybody. I say love's love, that's all there is. So bear with me if I say it wrong. Let's move on with the story. So, um, from very young age, Henry, I'm going to call him he for the time, um, felt like he, you know, was trapped in a little girl's body. So Henry ends up beginning to take um, hormones to become a woman. Henry also spends $15,000 on a boob job. But, like I said, you know, he just didn't have the money to go forward with it. So he begins talking to his mom. Um, her name is um, Georgina Pinkerton, I believe. They live in Tennessee and literally grew up dirt poor. Like, don't have a pot to piss in, nothing. But, Henry slash Nicole's mother, Georgina Pinkerton, had a sister named Billie Jean, who had happened to marry into money. So, Von, um, Nicole Henry Von Lee is talking, you know, about how hard life is and how, you know, she's a, a woman trapped in a man's body and almost there, just wants to finish the sex change. Just doesn't have the money, doesn't find a way to, you know, doesn't see this, you know, future of being what she truly feels she is. So her mom and her aunt are sitting there talking and her aunt, Billie Jean, who married into money, was like, I, uh, I've got money. Why don't you come stay with me? I can help you out. Whoever just wants to randomly help someone that much. Should have been a red flag, but it wasn't. Um, so mom, Georgina, is like, you know, Nicole slash Henry. Baby, go for it. If your aunt's willing to help you, she's got the money. Go, baby, go. So Henry slash Nicole moves to Michigan with her aunt, Billie Jean. Now, Billie Jean, same thing, grew up dirt poor, but married into money. Her husband was Don Rogers, who at the time, a 74-year-old self-made millionaire. Um, he made his money with car, being a car parts, um, I want to say like a mechanic, whatnot. Multi-millionaire. Um, he's 74 years old, and he has a huge, huge drinking problem. Yahtzee, Billie Jean thinks. Drinking problem? Let me hook on to that shit. She did. Billie Jean hooked on to it, married him. Now, Don, at night, likes to have a few nightcaps. Once he has a few drinks... Billie Jean grabs his credit card, ATM card, bounces out to the casino, drinks it up, and gambles up a storm. Now, Don, like I said, is a 74-year-old self-made millionaire. He is a very generous man. But after years and years of Billie Jean taking advantage, I mean, in one night, she's spending like $10,000 at the casino. He finally said to her, sorry, I'm outside, there's bugs flying around. Um, he finally said to her, 
continue to waste my money at the casino, gambling and drinking, I'm done. I'm divorcing you. Well, Billy Jean was like, oh, really? I got a plan, mofo. You're going to divor divorce me? I don't think so. So, Billy Jean's plan literally comes into place when he threatens to divorce her over her persistent gambling and wasting his money. Oh, my goodness. The bugs got real bad. Um, anyway, so he's pissed. He threatens to divorce her. Billy Jean gets her plan. That brings us to August 12th, um, 2000. Like every other night, Billy Jean and Nicole slash Henry, um, come home or they go out. Should I say they go out to the casino party and whatnot? They come home and find Dawn drunk, passed out like usual. And Billy Jean looks at Nicole and says, if you help me kill Dawn, I'll give you $25,000. Nicole's like, no, 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 no. Listen, all you have to do is hold his mouth open while I pour the vodka in. I'll give you $50,000. Nicole's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this. She's like, listen, all you have to do is literally hold his mouth open while I pour the vodka in. I'll give you $75,000, Nicole. She's like, I can't. I can't, Billie Jean. I can't do this. It's not, I, I can't. She's like, Nicole. You're going to literally hold his mouth open. That's it. I'm going to pour the vodka in. I will give you $100,000. That will pay for your sex change. Everything. You're good. I, I will do it. Nicole says, yeah. She's like, okay, fine. I'll do it. So Nicole gets down on the floor next to Don, who is a 74-year-old man, drunk and passed out. She holds his mouth open. Well, her aunt, his wife, Billie Jean grabs a bottle of vodka and begins to pour it down his throat. Don begins to choke on the vodka and Nicole lets go of his mouth and in a panic runs off to the bathroom. A few moments later, she comes out of the bathroom and she sees her aunt straddled over top of Don with a pillow over his face, suffocating him. A few moments later, Don's dead. Nicole calls 911. They come out and they tell them, you know, we were out at the casino all night. We came home, found him passed out drunk. He's known as being a huge drinker. He's 74 years old. There's no sign of struggle or anything. It's ruled heart attack due to alcohol abuse. Billie Jean immediately has him cremated. Check, check, cremated, done. They go on living their lives. Billie Jean is the heir of his estate, his life insurance, everything. So she is now a multimillionaire, you know, and she plans on paying her niece, Nicole slash Henry, the money for helping out. They go on living their lives for a very short time and Nicole slash Henry can't take it. The guilt is literally eating her alive. She starts dating this guy named um, Danny Shahan or something. It's Danny Shahan or something. And while she's dating him, she, she can't hold it in anymore. She looks at him and says, I've got two secrets to tell you, baby. She's falling in love with this man, you know, like head over heels in love. I've got two secrets for you, baby, but you're going to love me still, right? And it's going to stay between us. He's like, of course, baby, I love you no matter what. He is head over heels in love with her. She says, secret number one, I'm not a woman. He's like, what? Secret number one, you're not a woman. I mean, could you only imagine he's like, secret number one, you're not a woman. What the F could secret number two be? Well, secret number one, I'm not a woman. And secret number two, I'm someone. Well, you know what his response is? Let me see. Let me see your penis. <laughs> That's his response. So she takes him to, they're at dinner, by the way, when this conversation happens. She takes him to the bathroom and she shows him Wang, wang, chicka, bang, bang. And he is dumbfounded. After the dinner, he's out like trout. He is so floored and blown away. He waddles his little butt straight to the police station. He's like, let me tell you what. My girlfriend is bound chicka, wow, wow, hot as can be. I mean, if there is a scale one to ten, this Bia Bia is a 20. And she's a man. I, I, I haven't gone that far with her, but she's a man. Nobody can believe that she's a man. This girl is drop dead gorgeous. He's like, but that's not, that's, a, I mean, that's the craziest part, but also she killed someone.
They're like, oh my God, da da da. Can you get her to confess it? He's like, yeah, I'll wear a wire. This bitch got some twigs and berries between her legs. Yeah, I'm going to take her down. And he does because he's pissed. He's been making out with her and stuff. And, you know, some people just ain't down with that. And he was beyond freaked out. He wasn't even so upset that she was part of a murder. It was the fact that he'd been making out with her and it had she had been a man all along. That was what he was pissed about. So he was going to take her down. So he wears a wire and he goes out to dinner with her again. And he gets her to confess the whole thing. And she does. So the cops arrest Nicole slash Henry Von Lee and her aunt. Nicole confesses everything. She tells the whole story. Billie Jean, her aunt's like, no, 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 no. She's crazy. I had nothing to do with that. Plus, Billie Jean has multi-millions of money now. So she gets the best defense, you know, team there was. I mean, I think, like, OJ's team would have been like, what? It was a good defense team. So good that it came down to... Nicole slash Henry Von Lee's word against her aunt's word. Aunt got acquitted. Acquitted. Nicole got convicted. So, Nicole only got convicted. She got convicted of second degree murder and was sentenced to a minimum of 20 years. The kicker there is, it was in a mandatory men's jail. So, she was taking her hormones and everything. You can only imagine, you know, the stuff people go through in Unless being a man in the middle of transitioning to a woman, her off would not give her any support, um, you know, any money or anything. But you know how they say hey, there's always, you know, like a kicker or the icing on the cake or a silver lining or I don't know, karma's a bitch, whatever you want to call it. Six months after Billie Jean, the aunt, was acquitted. She never even got a chance to spend her murdered, late, multi-millionaire husband's money because she died of cancer six months after being acquitted. Zing, zing, right? Zing, zing. That's how I feel about that. Anyways, thank you guys for chiming in. Love you so much. Sorry about going MIA for a week. Things have been a bit crazy. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Feel free to share. As always, check out my YouTube channel, Storytime with Auntie Cuckoo with a KK. Oh, oh, oh. And that's it. Peace, love, chicken wings. Be kind to one another. Give hugs, not drugs. Make love, not war. Wash your hands. Scrub a dub dub. Cough on your elbow. <coughs> Son. I can't end it. Why won't it shut off?